we are going to begin our first project in identity and access management learning path the project name is adam health plus is planning to implement the first active directory in their clinic so what is an active directory an active directory is a directory service offered by microsoft as a part of windows server operating system and it is one of the most adoptable identity and access management solution for small, medium, and enterprise setup. At present, Adam Health Plus having 10 computers, Windows operating system, and 10 users, and some printer devices. All the users are using a local user setup, so there is no centralized uh, login setup. So what Adam Health Plus require is a central login system and a file sharing server. And they want the web applications and desktop applications after implementing the Active Directory setup authenticated from the central login system instead of having an application based or uh, local based authorization or authentication system. So how are we going to solve this current problem? We will implement Microsoft Active Directory and join all the computers in Hadam Health Plus to the newly implemented Active Directory and there we achieve a central login system. Then customer need a file server. As it is a small setup, we will add an additional disk to the Active Directory server and configure share permission to use it as a file share. So with this setup, applications can also authenticate it from AD and uh, we will see how it works in detail when it comes to the authentication protocol part. So to demonstrate this setup, I need a Windows server and preferably the latest one, 2019 or 2022 at present it is in preview. Then an additional storage to uh, connect to server so that I can show you how to configure file sharing and some Windows desktop clients also required to demonstrate how the client machines are managed in Active Directory. So after watching the complete project, you will have a very basic good understanding about what is Microsoft Domain Controller, how to install a domain controller, how you can create uh, OU users and groups, how you can join a Windows uh, desktop client to a domain controller, how to remove a computer from a domain controller and how an authentication works in the domain controller. In addition to this, we will be using Microsoft Azure infrastructure to set up the labs for this project. So it adds an advantage. In addition to identity and access management topics, you will be also getting expertised by project by project in Microsoft Azure infrastructure also. These are very basic topics. So if you already know about these topics, then you are very welcome to skip this part and continue to the next project. So that is all about the introduction to project one. See you in the next video.